Hey you guys, it's Elle. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought we would do something fun. We would play with a little bit of color. I get asked a lot by you guys, how does someone, you know, of any age, but especially as we mature, wear a little bit of color on our eyelids, or I should say a lot of bit of color, and not look dated. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And it's absolutely going to be easy, stunning, and I'm so excited to share this with you. So before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's do it. So I have my foundation on and what we're going to start with is the eyes. And so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my little Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer because for this look you need to definitely use a primer. And as always, I'm going to do one eye first and then I will do the other off Camera. And I actually just got in the mail this Urban Decay collaboration with uh, Kristen Leanne, and I'm super excited to try the whole line, so let me know if you guys want me to do a review of the whole line. But right now, we're going to be using the Daydream palette. I'm actually going to use Lucy with the brush that comes with it, and I'm just going to set this all over the lid. All right, perfect. Now we're going to take uh, Daydream. This palette is really great because it is all mattes, and I absolutely love that. So now we're going to take Daydream on the same little brush that comes with it, and I'm going to start to carve out this crease. And we're going to do a little bit of a halo eye because you guys have been asking for me to do a tutorial on a halo eye but a halo eye with someone that has lids like me, which is obviously aging as well as a little bit more hooded and deep set. So this technique you can use with any shades, any palette you want to. It's really a great technique for this eye shape. And I'm taking the color on top of my brow bone and bringing it out. So we have just a nice crease there. And then I'm going to go into Subscribe, which is this color here, and I'm just going to do the same thing. All I'm doing is I'm just really making sure that this is nice and warm, it is nice and defined, all of that good stuff, just like that. And I do bring this color up pretty high because when I look at you, you can't see this lid area. So I want to make sure that it looks a little bit more open by pulling the color up a little bit so you can actually see color. That's the problem or that's the, you know, the challenge with hooded deep set eyes is you can do all this beautiful blending in the crease and right here on the corner and then you open your eyes and it's all gone. So <laughs> yeah, so by bringing it up a little bit higher, it's important. Okay, so pretty, there we go. So now, honestly, this is going to be a super kind of easy eye. Um, I'm going to go into, because you guys also asked me to do a hunter green look, so we're going to be using hunter greens. I'm going to go into this Urban Decay palette, this the Distortion palette, into this green right here. And I'm going to pack this in the center of the lid. Now for my eye shape, I'm not going to bring this all the way in here. You know, this palette is a little bit dusty. Bringing it into the crease. Flip my little brush over, blend. All right, and so now I'm going to go back into this palette. I'm gonna use the darkest shade. It's called Eight. And I'm just gonna build a little bit of depth right here. So that's really beautiful. And you can actually stop here, put mascara on, and this is a great way to use just a little bit of depth, a little bit of color. But for me, this is not color, like a bright enough for me. So I'm going to, for the look that I, I want to do today, and so I'm going to go into this beautiful Kevin Aquan palette. This is the Electra Pop palette. I love this. I've been wearing this a lot lately. And I'm going to go into this color right here. This is actually available only online right now. And I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to tap this in the center. Do you see how that gives a pop? Oof, so pretty. And I find that these sh shadows in this palette go on best with your finger. All right. And before I clean that fall up, fall out, <laughs> up. I'm going to just make sure that that outside corner by going into the Electro Pop in the black, 
And I just want to bring a little bit more definition here. And this black in this palette is really beautiful by Kevin Aquan. Um, it's not super shimmery, but it's very blendable and very pigmented. Doing colors like this and formulas like this will make uh, more mature eyes because uh, it's not glittery. It's hard to explain. This is more of like a cream product almost. Um, it won't show the texture as much. It actually will hide texture. I'm going to take my liner, my liquid liner from uh, Flower Beauty. Just build a little bit of a wing. This is a much more wearable halo eye than the extreme versions we see. Fantastic. I really like where that's going. Um, I'm going to take the white in this palette right here. And I'm going to see if I can build a little bit of lightness, light right here. So let's put a little bit of mascara on. I'm going in with my number seven exceptional definition mascara. And then my favorite way to clean uh, fallout is using eye cream. So I'm just going to be using my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And I just literally lay it like this, make it all messy. I usually take a cotton bud, but I don't have one right here, so I'm just going to gently wipe that away. And I'm, I'm going to put, like I said, lashes on, but I want to finish the eye a little bit first. So I'm just using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of powder. And then I'm going to come back into the first palette we used, which was the Urban Decay Collaboration. I'm going to go right as we started into Daydream, which is the first soft brown color. And I'm going to really pull this under the eye, connecting the outside corners, really dropping this down, going into subscribe, again, pulling this down. And then I'm going to go into 8, which was that deep color. Pull this down. And then I'm going to go into the black in the Electra Pop from Kevin Aquan and just add a little bit of depth on the outside corner to make sure everything is connected. And then lastly, we're going to really go for it and we're going to pull um, that beautiful green color right here underneath the bottom lash line. I'm going to take it on a more of a detailed brush and I'm going to try to put the brushes below. You guys have asked for me to do that in the new year, so I'm going to work on that for you guys. There it is. But while we're here, we're going to take that first light color and the second one, or the third one, which is this pink color. And I'm just going to tap back and forth and give this a great highlight right here. All right, so let's pop some lashes on. My favorite lashes to wear are the uh, Sephora Collection. These ones are in Plume. The other ones I really like are in Quill. They're fantastic. All right, so do you see how natural those lashes are? They're just stunning. Um, and it doesn't add too much drama, uh, but just enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup the other side, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here is the final look. Uh, I absolutely love this eye. I think adding the lashes really gave it something a little bit special, but you know, these lashes are not over the top. I have worn these before and no one's even noticed that I have had lashes on. They are very, very subtle. But for me, long lashes have been a constant struggle. I'm trying another new lash product. Hopefully it will work, but I absolutely love these. I wish I had time to put them on every day, but of course, I do not. I absolutely love this like green, hunter green color on top. And I feel like this is a really great way to wear color, wear it appropriately, wear it like kind of in vogue, and also to make sure that it doesn't allow your uh, lids to look more aged. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't show all of that kind of, you know, creasing and texture and things of that nature because the shift of this product is 
really uh, helps kind of distract from the eye and really distracts from any folds or lines or anything like that might uh, happen on the lid. Also too, it's a very wearable way of kind of doing a semi halo eye instead of having like really black in here and really dark on the outside. This is going to give you the same effect of a little bit rounder eyes and a little bit more open. So, so thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Keep those comments coming. I love to hear from you guys on what you guys want to see in the next coming uh, couple of months. But thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. And thank you to all of our new subscribers. I'm so happy that this community, this beautiful community that we have is growing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, guys.